హలో గైస్ వెల్కమ్ టు మెటన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోన్ టు డిస్కస్ అప్ ద ఎనటమ్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రేట్ రోమెంటమ్ అండ్ లెస్ రోమెంటమ్ సో లెట్స్ బిగిన్ విత్ ద గ్రేట్ రోమెంటమ్ గ్రేటర్ రోమెంటమ్ so what is greater momentum greater momentum is a large thick fold of peritoneum it's a large and thick fold thick fold of the peritoneum and it hangs from the greater curvature of the stomach to the adjacent part of the duodenum from the greater curvature of the stomach we have the stomach to the upper abdomen duodenum like this so this is the greater momentum so it hangs from the greater curvature of the stomach to the adjacent part of the duodenum like an apron and it also covers the loop of intestine also so the greater momentum is made up of four layers it is made up of the four layers and each uh, the, the which are fused together to form a thin fenestrated membrane and they also contain a variable amount of fat so what happens this is a uh, one layer and the two layers they'll come together like this and then they'll fold on itself and go to the third third and the fourth layer so they'll come together like this and then they'll fold on itself and go to to attach attached to the transverse mesocolon so the first layer will become the fourth layer and the second layer will become the third layer and there is a potential gap between the two layers right the one and two and the three and four there is a potential gap and that gap forms the lesser sac this is about the greater momentum coming to its attachments attachments so the anterior two layers i told you they are anterior two layers so they will descend from the greater curvature of the stomach because they are continuous with the peritoneum covering the anterior and the posterior surface of the stomach to a variable extent and then it will fold on itself to form the posterior two layers and the mode of folding is such that the first layer becomes the fourth layer and the second layer will become the third layer so what happens the posterior two layers will ascend up to the transverse mesocolon where the fourth layer will fuse with the peritoneum and then the anterior surface of the transverse mesocolon and the transverse mesocolon above it so what happens the uh, fourth third and the fourth layer will fuse with the anterior layer of the transverse mesocolon and the part of the lesser sac between the second and third layers will get the obliterated so first and two layers will come from the anterior and the posterior surface of the stomach and then they'll come they'll fold on itself and they'll go and attach to the transverse mesocolon so what are the contents what are the contents of the uh, greater momentum we have number 1 is the adipose tissue adipose tissue or it is also fat so they contain variable amount of fat depending on the nutritional status of an individual and it also contains aggregation of aggregation of macrophages aggregation of macrophages which form dense patches on the greater momentum they are also called as the milky spots and then we have the right and the right and the left gastroepiploic gastroepiploic vessels we have the right and the left gastroepiploic vessels they are also run between the anterior and the posterior layers of the greater momentum and they close to the greater curvature of the stomach so coming to the functions of the greater momentum come to functions of the greater momentum so first of all it is a storehouse of fat it's a storehouse of fat it contains lot of fat and then second it prevents the peritoneal cavity from infection because it contains large presence of macrophages it contains huge amount of macrophages so it will protect the protect the peritoneal cavity peritoneal cavity and then it also limits the spread of in infection it will limit the spread of the infection so the greater momentum will move to the site of the infection and seals it off from the surrounding areas it also moves to the site of the perforation of any gut to plug the gap and also it will prevent the leakage of contents of gut into the peritoneal cavity so for this reason the greater momentum is called as the policeman of the abdomen policeman of the abdomen so it is sometimes it is used as a grafting material sometimes rarely it is used as a grafting material and it also protects the abdominal viscera from the blow 
so any blow given in the anterior abdominal wall it will protect it and then it will also form a partition between the supracolic and the infracolic compartments partition between the supracolic and the infracolic compartments so it will form a partition between the supracolic and the infracolic compartments so these are about the general functions of the greater rectum So these are about the general functions of the greater momentum. Now let's look uh, deep into the anatomy of the lesser momentum. Come into the lesser momentum. Lesser momentum. So what is lesser momentum? Instead of the greater momentum is a four layered, right? So the lesser momentum is a double layered. Double layered fold of the peritoneum between the lesser curvature of the stomach and the inferior surface of the liver we have the inferior surface of the liver and we have the stomach so between the stomach and the inferior surface of the liver the two layer lesser momentum will form so what are the attachments of the lesser momentum so it is at attached to the right side of the abdominal esophagus and then the lesser curvature of the stomach so here this is the abdominal esophagus this is the stomach we have the right side of the abdominal esophagus the lesser curvature of the stomach and also the first 2 cm of the duodenum so along this line it will attach and superiorly it, it is attached to the superiorly it is attached to the ligamentum venosum ligamentum venosum and the porta hepatis porta hepatis so what are the attachments of the lesser momentum inferiorly it is attached to the uh, abdominal part of the esophagus the lesser curvature of the stomach and the first 2 cm of the duodenum and superiorly it is attached to the inferior surface of the liver along the ligamentum venosum and the porta hepatis so these are the attachments of the lesser momentum so what are the general functions of the lesser momentum from coming to the functions of the lesser momentum so along the lesser curvature of the stomach the lesser momentum will contain the it will contain the right and the left gastric vessels right and the left gastric vessels gastric vessels and it will also contains the branches of the left gastric nerve and then second thing we have is the the right free margin of the lesser momentum it will contain the portal vein it contains the portal vein and it also contains the hepatic hepatic artery hepatic artery and it will also contains the bile duct so sometimes sometimes it will also contains the not sometimes all the time it will contain the autonomic nerves and also some lymphatics and the lymphatics and the lymph nodes so this is about the lesser momentum its attachments and functions thank you guys thank you for watching video till end if you like the video make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and also share it to your other friends who are in need of the anatomy thank you so much